Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna show how to fix the 30 frame FPS in Sega Fusion. And what you do is you download this file to your computer and you should receive a file that is called MCR Fusion 364. You unzip the file and in the, that file you got Fusion 364 and you also got this patch for Windows 8 and uh, there is one for Windows 8 and there's one for Windows 8.1 and if you check your Windows the control panel and there should be a system menu and there you have your version of Windows and mine is 8.1 so go back to your downloaded files And when you unzip the files, it would say 1.8 or 8.1. And then you select the ddrraw.dll file and paste it to Fusion right here beside Fusion, Fusion, History, and README. Not in video codec that I did because it won't work, nothing will happen. So just paste it next to Q Fusion. There's, there is another met method to do this, but it's way more complicated. So just download, download this file right there and uh, if you don't need fusion you can just remove fusion if you already have 364 and just unzip that file I showed you Windows Windows 8 it should say 8.1 but you need to unzip it first Take that DDR raw file. Sorry for repeating all the steps again, but just make sure to, so you understand. Take that DDR raw file, DDR AV.dll file, put it next to Fusion. Boot up Fusion, take a Genesis game like Batman. Window mode, it says 50 frames per second because I'm using PAL emulation. Hit X, ESC, and you see it's still 50 frames per second. Usually, you should, if you have done anything wrong, it would say like 30 frames per second but that's how you fix the 30 frames per second issue in kfusion on windows 8 so thank you for watching and goodbye